Aid workers in Poland say the crisis on the European Union's external border with Belarus is not over yet. Poland plans to build a wall to replace the razor wire fence between the two countries. Its aim is to stop illegal crossings by undocumented migrants. But environmental campaigners say a wall will also stop wildlife from roaming free in the area, which could have a dire impact. DW correspondent Jack Perrick sent us this report from that border. Residents of the ancient Biavasia forest. This lynx and these wolves caught on camera traps at the end of last year. This 600-year-old forest is home to an estimated 12,000 species of wildlife. Christoph Schmidt studies these animals and he says the government's plan to build a 186-kilometer wall five and a half meters high on the country's border with Belarus will have a devastating effect on the genetic mix. From the moment when the wall will be fully constructed, then we will have two different populations completely separated from each other. And it will affect the, their future, it will affect the sustainability of these populations. Because if we divide populations into smaller and smaller um, subpopulations, then their survival is, is more and more uh, vulnerable. He warns the forest is already divided for animals by roads and intersected by multiple rail lines. The government wants the wall to keep out asylum seekers who were crossing the border, pushed by the government of neighbouring Belarus. I've been reporting on the issues on the border for a number of months now, and this is the closest I've been able to get to the border. Just over there, maybe 300 metres away, is the border fence. And the border guards say that while the numbers have continued to drop, the numbers of people crossing, there are still attempts to break down the razor wire fences and to get people into Poland. Border guards intercepted 32,000 people in November last year. Now, though, there's just a handful per day. People in this area are continuing their usual winter activities while the heavily guarded exclusion zone remains in place. The government says the building of the wall is happening in consultation with wildlife experts. I'm aware that there are places in the national park, the Biugea Forest, which needs special conservation. Looking at the details, I'm sure that the border guards who are completely responsible for building the wall, they are tasked to build the wall with consideration of the natural environment. Back in the forest, Christoph says his institute has provided the government with a plan for wildlife pathways through the wall to prevent the division of animal populations, and he hopes it will be followed.